Hello, I'm just about to do a video on DTFT that's called discrete time Fourier transform in MATLAB uh, and wrote a small code. It's very easy and thought why not share it on YouTube. So the syntax of the function is DTFT, your function goes here and we're gonna put over the limits, lower limits and upper limits. For this we have an example. That DTFT one by two raised to the power n minus one is our function and it goes from one to infinity and here will be our answer. So it's very small code as you can see over here. This thing will be also available in the description to download. So let's get started with some demonstration. For the reference point, I also have the book of signal system by Oppenheim, I think second edition. And uh, here's a function which I, I have to plot or to calculate the DDFT, which is a to the n u of n. u of n is just showing the limits and the re uh, restriction is that the magnitude of a will be greater than negative 1 and less than 1. So it could be maybe negative 0.5 or 0.5. So I have to just match these two graphs in this one for negative 0 0.5 and this for uh, simple 0 0.5 uh, as the value of a so I'm just about to do this so let's see what happens so for the instance here I have just uh, have a function which is 0 0.5 raised to the power n and it's going from 0 to infinity as, as uh, it was given this that it is u of n which is showing you know, step function starting from 0 and going to the infinity so that, uh, let's press enter so for the instance over here we have the DTFT of this function and as well as graph so you can also compare the graph by this that uh, so as you can see over here we have just uh, a graph from negative 2pi to 2pi and is you can see its behavior and same kind of behavior can be observed over here that is just decaying exponentially uh, on the right side and increasing exponentially on the left side and just going from negative uh, 2 pi to 2 pi. So this was for uh, a which is uh, equal to 0 0.5. Well, let's do it for negative 0 0.5 and let's see what will be the answer of it. So just change its limits, just change the function from 0 0.5 to negative 0 0.5 and let's see. So as you can see we have these two things over here. Uh, the issue is that there is some a difference in the graph and the reason is that uh, the book author is using a as a generic value maybe something some value and I'm doing uh, and I'm doing it uh, specifically for 0 0.5 because I have to do it uh, as I have to plot the graph in MATLAB so MATLAB will not accept uh, simple and a until uh, unless I don't define that what is a so hope you're gonna enjoy this take care bye